catch you later, Bill and Ted. Is what someone should have said when approached with the IP for this game and asked to make it because, oh my god, this isn't worth anyone's time. Hello everyone, my name's James. This is Bill and Ted Wild Stallions, which is a turn-based sort of RPG, I guess? Battle action RPG, which is based on the uh, Bill and Ted movies from the early 90s, late 80s. I am old enough to remember uh, the second one when it came out, and I actually really liked Bill and Ted's uh, Bogus Journey. The second one's really good. The first one's quite fun as well. So I'm on board the nostalgia train, and I was prepped and hoping for something that might not be total garbage. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not particularly impressed with this one. This is a free-to-play boar fest, I think is a fair way to put this. You are taken through a number of different worlds, and by worlds I mean backgrounds repeated over and over. And uh, you're part of the band, so you're with Bill and Ted and Rufus as well, and you play a character you create yourself, I'm the drummer girl up here, and you fight an endless chain of the evil robots based on the evil robot us's from Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Every time you get to attack, you've got two options here. You've got one, which is on the right-hand side, this card here, your standard attack, and the one on the left, which is an attack you can use every couple of rounds. It recharges after a little bit, and that's... Pretty much it. That's all you can really do. So I can heal. I don't need to do that right now. Or I can just attack. You can choose which character you attack. But there's no more complexity to it than that, really. The attacks are really weak source. So that attack when she hits the drum sounds rubbish. Whenever you attack as either Bill or Ted, they play the same riff every single time. The same guitar lick, which even after just a few rounds, I'm already incredibly bored of. And I don't want to hear it ever again. Uh, and it has such a passing relationship with the series as to be like, it might as well be any game. It might as well just be a palette swapped standard game which has nothing to do with Bill & Ted whatsoever. I don't feel it. The, the dialogue here, when they're doing the Bill & Ted, well, that was totally easy dude, totally, stuff, is like, it's like, as Harry says in our Pocket Gamer review, which you can go and read, it's like someone's heard people doing impressions of Bill and Ted and are doing an impression of that. And I, I'm not feeling it. There is no soul or anything else to this game. And it's just boring me. Now, I've played this more on the iPad and I'm recording this on an iPhone because it's got bare aspect ratio for video, in it? And so I've kind of gone back to the beginning again. But, I mean, look, here's a new background. We're now back in time, I guess. But this, the robots are the same. It's given me the information about checking my inventories. You can do like additional perks with these with these boosts here if you want to. Um, but aside from that, yeah, I'll, I'll choose that one. Yep, fine. Cake. I've stunned one guy. That's great. But then once that's been done, it's back to the same riff again and the same repetitive attacks and the same lack of choice and lackluster presentation. Uh, there's not a great deal nice to say about it, as we say in our review. Like. It's rare that we can't find anything good to say because we generally try and err towards the positive on stuff because there's no point in just picking up games and slagging them off. And I like the franchise. I I was on board for something that might be good and there's talk of a third movie. It's been in the works for ages. And it's been a massively troubled production, but we're like, hey, maybe, maybe we'll get a movie turning up and Keanu will reprise the role and it'll all be fun and it won't just be a horrible cash-in. But this game certainly hasn't given me much hope. This reminds me of the games they used to make as movie tie-ins. There was a time when movie tie-ins were the worst games imaginable. It would just be like a copy-paste platformer and they would reskin it with, I don't know, Robocop or The Terminator and they were always just kind of rubbish. And this feels like that, like an anonymous game that's been given a palette swap. They've stuck the characters Bill and Ted in for no particular reason. Uh, and that's it. Let's add uh, oh, a vocalist to our band for all the difference it makes and then fly off to another level <sighs> I can't I can't really be bothered the, the dialogue's really bad and I wish that there was something positive I could impart to you But here we go again, and I can't even be bothered to finish this. It's just really dull So Bill and Ted's Wild Stallions is out for free right now on the App Store. You're welcome to it. Help yourself because I'm I'm done. Thank you for watching. See you next time <laughs>